In this problem, we're looking for the amount of work done on a crate as it's been moved horizontally along a floor. Now, if we assume that the force acting on the crate is in the same direction as the direction that the crate is moving in, then recall that the work, in this case, is equal to the force applied multiplied by the distance over which the box travels. Now note that the problem tells us that the box is moving across the floor without acceleration, meaning that the horizontal forces acting on the box are canceling each other out. If we draw a free body diagram of the box, then we can make a note of the different forces acting on the box. First, the weight of the box acts downwards with a magnitude of mg. The normal force from the floor acts upward on the box, f sub n and the horizontal forces acting on the box are the force pushing, which I'll call F sub P, and the force from the friction of the floor opposing the box's motion, so F sub FR. These are all the forces acting on the crate. If the box is moving horizontally without acceleration, then the horizontal forces must be balanced. In other words, since the two forces we have in the horizontal direction are in opposite directions, then they must have equal magnitudes to one another. So the magnitude of the work, if it's equal to the force of the push multiplied by the distance, this is also equal to the frictional force multiplied by the distance. And recall that frictional force is equal to the coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force. So F sub R is equal to mu, which is the coefficient of friction, multiplied by F sub N. Next, note that, based on our free body diagram, the vertical forces must be balanced as well, since we can assume that the box is exhibiting no vertical acceleration. After all, the problem tells us that the box is being pushed along the floor, not that it's being raised into the air or burrowing into the ground. So we can assume it's always in contact with the table and is experiencing no vertical acceleration. This means that the weight of the crate is always balanced with the normal force acting on it, so the normal force on the crate must have an equal magnitude to the crate's weight. So we can substitute F sub n with the weight, or mg. So mu mgd. That is what the work acting on the crate is equal to. So all that's left for us to do in this problem is to plug in the values that were given into these variables and put it into a calculator. The coefficient of friction is given to us as 0.5. The mass of the crate is given as 46 kilograms. The gravitational acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. And the distance over which the box is pushed is 10.3 meters. If we put all this into a calculator, then we find a magnitude for the work of about 2300 joules. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a question or a request, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best I can. That's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye bye